who beats motivated John Jones? He just ran through the number one ranked heavyweight on the planet and did it so easily submitting him in the first round with a guillotine choke and not only did he finish surreal gone but this was his fastest championship win of his entire career yes even faster than the chill sun and win the last time he finished an opponent this quickly outside of a championship fight was way back in 2010 when he tko'd vladimir matushenko in one minute and 52 seconds of the first round Ever since, he's never finished an opponent in 2 minutes and 4 seconds like he just did at Surreal Gone. Talk about a performance. There is a lot to talk about in that short fight. So firstly, John Jones did not look ring rusted. He showed good defense, good wrestling, a great squeeze on that guillotine, and Surreal Gone actually looked pretty strong in the grappling, but the technique was the difference. This is what John Jones is talking about. Yes, Francis is a big strong guy but Francis doesn't have my kind of technique. And you saw Surreal Gan resisting the takedown, using only his strength. But look at right here as Jones has his left leg in between Gan's legs to hold that position and always be ready to trip him out depending on which direction Gan wants to move. So what does Gan do? He tries to scoot his back on the cage toward his right side. And that's exactly what Jones wanted him to do. Jones just sinks him in. He puts his weight down on his hips sinks Gon into the cage and forces him to sit. And I don't even think Gon knew that John Jones could submit him in this position. Jones went right for the guillotine and Gon literally did not defend it at all. All he did was try to move his head after Jones attempted the guillotine. Notice how Gon's hands are never on Jones's. He's never hand fighting, he's never trying to pry open the grip. And all he's doing is just lowering his chin and trying to get a position where he can stand up. That's why he has that left underhook. But Jones is like three steps ahead. What does Jones do? Notice his right hand. This is very easy to miss. With his right hand, he's lifting Gon's chin up, exposing the neck, and then he just snatches onto it with that guillotine and finishes it quickly. With how fast Gon tapped out, that's how you knew it was a perfectly placed guillotine. That's a John Jones submission right there, man. The greatest submission artist in light heavyweight history, making short work in that department against Surreal Gon, who he said was ready for Jones grappling, but man, was he not. That showed that Gon has never experienced that level of grappling before. If he couldn't even fathom of how good Good Jones was on the ground. He looked like he didn't believe it after it was over. Like he was in complete shock. It just showed that Surreal Gun couldn't even see the horizon. He couldn't see the level that Jones was actually at. But everything started on the feet. And honestly, it looked like Surreal Gun. I don't like to use the word scared or intimidated or stuff like that, but he was definitely showing a lot of respect to John Jones. He would try to just touch Jones and then he would like run away. He throws a jab forward and then he just clears the field gone he did this to the head a few times he would throw a jab to the body and look how he just like back pedals completely away from jones like he's literally hopping away and look at the distance he creates there is a saying that a lot of fighters defeat themselves before they fight jones and this seems like it was another case surreal guy may have already been mentally defeated before going into this fight and also with him just like moving away from jones so much he was respecting that wrestling so much it seemed like so intimidated of it Either he was moving away like that, or he would go all in and overextend on his left straight. Notice right here how he's in the southpaw stance, and he just wings a left straight with no setup. Zero setup, huge telegraph, something we don't see from Gon too often. He's usually very tricky on the feet, masking everything, setting everything up. But here he just wants to like knock Jones out, chin up in the air too, gets off balance, throwing the punch. And that's when John Jones went in for that takedown. And not only was it for that, notice right here how Surreal Gon throws in a jab, leaps away as Jones tries to counter him to the body with an overextended right hook, exposing himself, and Gon never capitalizes. He never tries to counter. He's taking pictures here. All he's doing is watching what Jones is doing and keeps backpedaling away without actually throwing out any meaningful offense up until that overextended left straight with no setup. And with all of these sequences, you also have to give a lot of credit to John Jones because notice Jones' defense against that left straight. Slips on the outside of it, enters for the body lock. He parried that first jab as well, able to see it coming, but some of the other jabs, he was actually slightly getting tagged by them. His defense was a tad too slow, but Surreal Gun was also throwing lead leg kicks just to connect on John Jones or something. And Jones was onto every single one of those, catching the kick and trying to land that right straight down the center using that long reach. Reach that even Surreal Gun did not expect. Look how the punch just lands flush on his face as Gon tries to move away. And that was pretty much it, man. I mean, who beats John Jones, honestly? He's gonna fight Stipe Miocic next, and it looks like it's gonna be in July. And I don't see Stipe beating him. Stipe's over 40 years old now. He's gonna be much slower. The kicks to the leg are gonna be so devastating to him. 
If Jones gets him to the ground, I can see some submission attempts from John Jones there as well. He's such a smart fighter as well. I think it'll be a tougher fight than Cyril Gan was, due to the fact that Stipe can defend takedowns and he has good boxing. But I don't know who beats John Jones. Like, Curtis Blades has good wrestling, but he doesn't do much on the feet, I think. If Sergey Pavlovich has good takedown defense, maybe he can do something. Honestly, the most interesting match with John Jones would be if Francis Ngannou was still here. Because that power is always an equalizer, and he wouldn't give Jones this kind of respect. And he probably would show better takedown defense than what Cyril Gan showed. And honestly, it also makes me wonder, did Jones also just show that Cyril Gunn has no takedown defense at all? What if Cyril Gunn starts to get taken down by everybody, like Curtis Blades, Stipe, even Pavlovich? Like, imagine all these guys keep taking Cyril Gunn down, and it just showed that Gunn had a good path to a title. I really wonder now. But all credit to John Jones, man. Amazing performance on his return. If there's any ring rust, it was very little. He said he felt a little bit sloppy in the striking, but he looked pretty good, man. His defense was pretty tight. Good pressure and everything. And I think his striking is definitely going to show more of itself in the Stipe fight. And that's definitely his next one for a surreal gone. I guess the winner of Pavlovich and Blades. I think that makes the most sense because the winner of that fight is not going to get a title shot. Unless they do wait it out for the end of the year. And that's another thing. It looks like John Jones is going to fight three times this year. Which is very rare. And the new fans that haven't seen John Jones, they're in for a treat, man. Heavyweight John Jones is a monster. And he's motivated, man. I'm starting to believe in the whole motivated thing now. 